Now, Birmingham leaders are holding a supply drive to help those affected by Hurricane Michael. Sure, so it's the city's way of helping those affected by the storm. CBS 42 News reporter Connie Gasky live this morning at Botwell Auditorium with details about that. And Connie, what actually do people need to donate to help people recover from Michael? Well, there's a lot of different items that they can donate, and if they want to drop things off, all they have to do is drive right here by Boutwell Auditorium to do that. In fact, they can just drive up, and hey, maybe they'll even be lucky enough to get the same spot that we have right now. There's going to be some cones blocking this area off a little bit later today. People don't even have to get out of their cars when they get here. There will be volunteers on hand to help them unload those supplies. So it's a very easy way to help out. A lot of people have done so already. They're gathering things like canned goods, bottled water, cleaning supplies, much more. It's the latest of many storm relief efforts here in the Magic City, but this one hits closer to home for many here because of its proximity to this area. You know, we all know people at the beach. We all know people in the wiregrass. Some people have second homes there. Some people vacation there regularly. This is, this is real to us. And the city has held relief efforts for dozens of other storms in the past, like Harvey, which of course hit Texas last year, and Florence, which hit the Carolinas just a few weeks ago. And they, of course, are continuing to gather supplies to help out with Hurricane Michael relief in this situation. We'll talk a little bit more about this coming up in the next half hour, including what one city leader says inspires many people to donate in situations like this. You'll hear about that coming up at 630. Live in Birmingham, Count on Gasquee, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.